Being experts on Trader Workstation is important at Maverick Trading. All Maverick traders use Trader Workstation to place their stock and option trades and been doing that for 12 plus years. Our traders need to be perfect on the platform as they trade our capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of the profits they generate. We're happy to release some of our TWS training to the public as we know TWS can be an intimidating software. If you're ready to become a professional stock and option trader, click on the application link in the description below. Now on to our TWS tutorial. All right, so let's talk about Interactive Brokers research and news. So here you can see we're on the all platform. This would take you through everything they offer. We could scroll through that, but a better way to do that is just look at it piece by piece. So I'm going to come into the free services first. And you can see there's different things that are offered that you can just click on and sign up for through your Interactive Brokers account, briefing. Um, some of them have some prices here, but they have some free elements, so they're still showing up here. You've got to be careful about what you click on. Uh, you can get Benzinga or whatever. You can get their breaking news for free. But if you sign up for some of these other things, there may be prices associated or cost associated with that. Now, as we look at this, so that's the free. There are some that are bundled, and these are very popular services, but I would say it used to be that we thought that news was so critical to trading and investing success, and it's just not. Uh, we're not day traders. We're not making money because we go so much quicker than everyone else. The reality is, is that with all of these high-frequency trading systems and so on, they're operating in nanoseconds. So I'm not so sure that you can get the news and dissect it that much quicker and so forth. But if you're if you're of that mindset, there are some services for you there. You can see there's some different research areas. There's some nice things here that could be had for free. Um, if we come down, here's briefing and you can get some of briefing.com's free services in different spots. UBS, their live trade desk, has some free services, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's some different things on breaking news. Again, there's different events. So if you wanted economic calendars, now again, there's some free websites where you can get this. We use forexfactory.com and it's got a calendar of all economic events coming up and so forth. Uh, you can get earnings through NASDAQ earnings page. But if you want some of these, they'll have some of those offerings as well. Here you can see uh, Reuters, which is a very popular news service. You can get some of Reuters information for free. Alternative data here, if you want some bond ratings or uh, different things of that sort. Now, bond ratings are by traditionally the major firms are S&P, Moody's, Fitch are bond rating companies. The credit rating is something of here's our credit worthiness uh, research we say that they are corporate grade and remember that you get into junk status when you're in the B's so when you start hitting the B's on a credit rating now you're in the junk status and then some third-party tools so each one of these you'll notice in many cases there are some free trials or there's some elements that are free and then there's some elements that are cost and you just have to look at that and do your homework as to which ones you'd want to set up. If you want it just fundamental data, just technical data, just ratings, whatever it is that you wanted, you can probably find a service that offers some information in that capacity. Hope this has been helpful. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time.